SKT Welfare, a UK registered charity, became the subject of much controversy when in February 2018, Sheikh Yacoubi, ex-patron of SKT Welfare, made serious allegations against it. He stated that he had conducted a review of the organization and in a statement released he claimed, he does not support the charity as he believes it lacks independence and accountability. He does not recommend giving it any donations since there is no system to verify that the donations have fully reached the needy. This was then widely shared on social media without verification by many of his murids who are estimated to be 2,000 worldwide. Some asked for proof of his review, but they never got it. SKT responded with a statement refuting all of the allegations as follows. We have not been made aware of any review nor have we been asked to pass on any documentation. SKT Welfare is a transparent charity which is governed by UK charity law. This situation then became a matter for the Charity Commission, the UK regulatory body, who in turn then investigated the matter. So, what did the Charity Commission find? What was the truth? And what had actually happened? In October 2017, Dr. Abdul Halim Tawil, SKT country director in Turkey, attempted to sell his own house to the charity at almost double the market price and without the approval or knowledge of the UK or Turkish board. This fraudulent transaction came to the attention of the UK board as he failed in bypassing the financial controls in place. Consequently, he was suspended on the 14th of December pending an investigation. Following a full and thorough scrutiny, Dr. Abdul Halim was found guilty of the following. The attempted sale of his own property to personally profit from the organization's resources represents a clear case of conflict of interest, which violates the ethics, rules and regulations that govern charities. The property was not required by the charity and its acquisition would bring no benefit to the organization. The sale price of the property was almost double the actual market value. Abusing his position as country director and breaching the procurement policy, as such a transaction is subject to strict rules and multiple layers of approval. As a result, Dr. Abdul Halim was dismissed from his position as the country director on the 11th of January 2018. Despite all the evidence and findings implicating Dr. Abdul Halim, on the 16th of January 2018, Sheikh Yacoubi further insisted to reinstate his senior murid. The best way to defend Dr. Abdul Halim in this position is to bring back him to his job. This is an urgent matter that has to be done. On the 11th of February, during a meeting with the trustees in the UK, the ex-patron fundamentally contradicts the statement he later releases, in particular where he alludes to the fact that the trustees have done nothing wrong, which is in stark contrast to his statement on the 22nd of February. None of you is going to be, uh, of course, punished or you know, blamed for anything. You haven't done anything wrong. You've done your best. During the same meeting, the ex-patron clearly states that unless his demands are met, he would do whatever it involves to achieve his objectives. You either hand over SKT to the Tariqa or I'm going to take action, whatever it involves, to force you out. When the trustees refused to reinstate Dr. Abdul Halim, the Sheikh demanded the resignation of all the UK Board of Trustees. When neither happened, he then made the unfounded allegations against SKT Welfare 11 days later. What did the Charity Commission find? SKT Welfare reported the incidents immediately to the Charity Commission, who then conducted a seven-month review into SKT's affairs, including a thorough scrutiny of financial records, policies, procedures, as well as monitoring and evaluation systems. All evidence relating to the fraud was also presented. At the end of the review, the Commission concluded... The Commission asked Sheikh al Yakubi to substantiate his serious allegations. However, at the time of writing, seven months since, Sheikh al Yakubi has not substantiated his concerns. 
a power struggle appears to have emerged, culminating in Sheikh Al Yaqubi making a series of allegations against the trustees. Sheikh Al Yaqubi appears to have disagreed with the trustees' decisions to dismiss a member of staff following an investigation, and that he decided to try to take control of the charity, given his status as a religious leader and as patron. The Commission's assessment is that the trustees have both 1. appropriately discharged their duties to report RSIs to the Commission and 2. have handled the concerns that were raised in those incidents properly. Based on the evidence provided to it, the Commission does not intend to explore these allegations further and regards them as resolved. SKT Welfare then issued the following statement. SKT is a lifeline to some of the most vulnerable people on the face of the earth who became the real victims of the unfounded allegations made by Sheikh Yacoubi. The Sheikh's defamatory statement and propaganda resulted in depriving thousands of desperate people across the globe of vital aid and services, including Syrian widows and orphans. SKT Welfare deems this to be the end of the matter and would like to extend our heartfelt gratitude to all the donors and supporters who stood for the less fortunate in the world, especially during the difficult and testing time of their charity.